You know, natural stone's been used as a building material for, for thousands of years. Rome's basically built from the travertine that we still import today. I think there'll always be a very substantial response from architects and designers to using natural stone in that way because I, I can't see how it can be replaced. At Artodimus and certainly in our industry, we refer to stone as a natural product um, and stone being basically something that's come out of the ground or at least close to the ground. To me, stone is the be-all and end-all of a lot of natural products and probably the most beautiful. And not just in terms of its aesthetics, I think its intrinsic value is, is equally as beautiful. Artodomus has been working with stone virtually since the company started, so north of 30 years. I think natural stone just has its own feeling. There's a lot of things that can come out of the ground that nobody's ever going to replicate in a man-made product. We buy material that's South American, we buy African material, we buy a lot of European material. It comes from everywhere, but I, we typically buy from Italian businesses because uh, the production facilities in Italy are still superior and it gives us access to a much larger range as well. Talk a lot at Artodomus about enduring quality and I think natural stone helps projects be created with enduring quality. They last and they look good for a long time. No one piece of stone is the same, uh, almost like a fingerprint. It's really quite a nice feeling to know that your bench top floor, wall, whatever it might be, is one literally in a billion. If you choose the right material, the right natural stone, you can use it for any application inside or outside the house. You know, you can stress it, you can leave it raw, you can hone it, you can polish it, uh, chisel it, bush hammer it, sandblast it. There's some very, very beautiful but very, very fragile natural stones and you just need to use them in the right places. There's some incredibly beautiful, incredibly strong natural stones as well and you can use those in the right places as well. There's countless number of finishes um, and you can combine them too, which is cool. Uh, we're not afraid to tell people that something isn't right. Uh, and there's so many good products for the right application that if you talk to people that actually know what it is that you're trying to achieve and can help you with that, you can get a much better result. Patina is what typically is used to describe how a material, and it doesn't have to be stone, uh, changes over time with use. Stone, when you first install it, it almost looks unreal. After a few years of use and a bit of love that's gone into it, that stone then changes and it reflects your life. Um, not just your life, but the life of your home. That said, there's basically nothing that you can do to a natural stone that can't be repaired. You know, you can rehome kitchen benches very easily and bring them back to exactly the way they were when you first got them. We have a number of exclusive materials here that are not available anywhere else. Uh, we have at least eight, maybe ten, natural stones that you can't find. Elba's the most important natural stone in our range, probably since we started importing it 15 years ago. It's developed into the material that Artodomus is probably most well known for. It's really near enough to the perfect natural stone because of the inherent qualities of it, uh, both in a functional sense but also in an aesthetic sense.